Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for June 27th through July 3rd, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. We have a new moon in Cancer this week. This occurs on the 28th through 29th of June, depending on what time zone you're in. And there's a healing element that does come in with this new moon. But of course, new moons are very supportive of starting new things, of setting intentions for things that you want to manifest into your world. And uh, there's some very loving connections. This moon is influenced by a very lovely connection between Venus and Jupiter. So there's a lot of love in the air, abundance, expansion, growth, okay, new beginnings, a very fertile, uh, abundant time for you. But there is opposing, force, uh, opposing forces that are also coming in here as well. And, you know, especially like the first week of July, as we get into that, we do have uh, Mars and Pluto creating some issues uh, up in the planetary realm there. So there may be some anger, frustration, frustration. Um, maybe, you know, some negativity that's not just coming up maybe within you, but also with others around you. So if you focus on the positive and focus on solutions and try and keep a positive outlook on things, then you can weather that storm, but you can maybe harness that fiery energy up there to give yourself a little bit more drive and determination to get something done. We've got wait for winter coming in here for you. During the colder months, the Fairy Queen of Winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So when we get this particular energy, this can be that maybe something that you have been manifesting since the winter months is starting to come to fruition. Keep an open mind, keep an open heart there because you just never know what you may stumble across. Are you looking to make some move? Are you looking to, you know, uh, change your job? Okay, maybe find a new relationship, whatever that happens to be for you. Be open and receptive because you may certainly have something um, coming in for you at this time. Okay, but you do need to take some actions as well to find these things. Um, but you may also, this may also be a message from spirit, manifest now, manifest something now. And energetically, once you set your intentions, you already have everything that you are asking for, right? It's boom, instant, it's done. It just takes a while to materialize in our physical world. And you do also need to take some sort of action as well. So between now and the next, uh, and between now and the winter, okay, is a very, um, uh, a very wonderful time for you to allow your manifestations to blossom and to grow. We have solitude coming in here also. Think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything. The greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet time. You know, the world is a busy, bustle, bustly place. We sometimes feel as though we run off our feet, like we don't have enough time in the day. We don't have enough time to look after everyone else's needs. And we end up being tired, being drained, feeling as though, oh my God, I don't want to get up and face another day. I just want to stay in bed. Okay, we get mentally and emotionally and physically exhausted. Time alone is very important. It recharges your batteries. It allows you to connect with yourself, whether it's a spiritual energy or not. Uh, a little bit of alone time is really important. So you may be finding some time to spend on your own in the week ahead. Okay, maybe you've got some plans and you just wake up one day and you're like, nope, no, 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 I don't want to go. Um, you know what? I, I think I need to, I, I just need to take a step back for a little bit. So that time in solitude may be very healing for you, may be enlightening for you, or may just give your heart, mind, body, and soul just that very much needed break. All right. Let's see what we've got. We've got the 10 of pentacles. Strength. And the two of pentacles. Busy little bee. I'm in the week ahead. You are. Look at that. Okay, the bottom of the deck here, we've got the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords can actually bring you in some sort of messages, some news, some communication. 
This could be something from the sidelines, okay, or maybe something unexpected. Uh, the Page of Swords can also, um, you know, really show that there may be an, a conversation that needs to be had or need to be started a little bit, okay. This is also where you um, maybe have some new ideas or be a little bit innovative or try something a little bit different, okay. So the Page of Swords, there may be some communication that is very important for you to have in the week ahead, whether it's externally or internally. Okay, so, but also maybe you just have this burst of new ideas. You're doing some research. Perhaps you have some information that you need to find. The Page of Swords being a very inquisitive uh, kind of energy is exactly what you need with that. Okay, so communication of all kinds, but trying new things and maybe breaking out of your shell um, or trying something new and going within your shell to regroup, renew and recharge may certainly be the order of the day but we do have the ten of pentacles i mean you actually do have some great energy coming out here this week the ten of pentacles so that this does give stability security um, in your material world your home your career your finances uh, your family your generations as well okay so things materializing in your world so either right now you're starting out your week with everything that you need you're feeling good you're feeling grounded you're feeling just kind of calm and comfortable but you may also be reaching for the stars with this ten of pentacles you may have something that comes in that uh, is a little bit unexpected and this is putting you on the path to um, stability and security you may also have some um, something coming into you <clears throat> the ten of pentacles is uh, a card of inheritance but it's not just money right? We can inherit a lot of things from our ancestors and we can inherit knowledge, talents, um, uh, you know, money. Yes, we can inherit that too. So there may be something here that you are tapping into. Either something comes to light for you, um, some sort of, uh, you know, um, uh, family inheritance per se. Okay. It could just be some words of wisdom. Okay. Or it could be even be some sort of financial improvements or gain that come in there. Uh, perhaps someone, um, you know, gives you a living inheritance or something, or perhaps there's something to do with the family home that comes in here as well. Okay. So, but the 10 of pentacles is about success and abundance in your material world and feeling like you're in a good, solid, secure place. Now, this could be what you're manifesting into your life. We do have the strength card here that brings you in some inner strength, some confidence, okay, but also brings you in some patience and compassion. So it could be that you really do need to tap into your inner strength um, this week, okay? So uh, whether you just need to tap in and, and use some courage and some maybe willpower, to uh, power through your week or to get things done, or perhaps you are exhibiting some sort of kindness or compassion to those around you, the important people in your world. But, you know, but with that strength card, it's really a reminder from spirit that number one, that you are stronger than maybe you give yourself credit for here, Pisces, okay, and that you are, uh, you have an innate ability to really power through to get things done. Perhaps you are a pillar of strength for other people as well, okay, but the strength card also gives you that reminder from spirit that, you know, you do need to rely on your own strength. You do need to, you know, kind of, um, sometimes be a little bit brave okay or you do need to show kindness and compassion but this is not just to others this is also also to yourself so remember to um recharge and make sure that you are strong when you need to be strong and that you can exert some extra energy or throw in some extra time to things when it's required but you get that by finding your balance and finding your balance between other people and you, because we do have the two of pentacles here also. So for one, this can be a, um, an energy of balance, okay? Finding your balance. Something is not quite in alignment, and while it's perfectly fine and dandy for now, it may not be able to be sustainable for the long term. So you may need to find ways to find a healthier balance, whether it's between your work and your home, whether it's between yourself and other people, whatever that happens to be for you, okay, uh, temporary um, off balance is perfectly fine, but again, not for the long term. So maybe some boundaries need to be had, maybe some uh, conversation needs to be had. 
So that's the one. The two of pentacles can also show that by the time, you know, you may have a relatively easy week um, through the week, uh, especially with the strength card, that's Leo energy. So there may be actually an important person that you're dealing with, possibly someone um, involved in your workplace or your family, um, whether it's your blood relatives or chosen family as well as the, whoever you consider family. So there may be something there that's going on with them and you may have some decisions to make with the two of pentacles, right? So uh, decide what you need to do or where you want to go um, or how you want to pursue something, right? So maybe weighing up your options, trying to make a little bit of a decision there, whether it is through a workplace or a family or just something else. The two of pentacles does show that towards the end of the week, you probably be quite busy. Okay, you probably have a lot to do, a lot on your plate, maybe it's everything from household chores, hello, Ten of Pentacles. Um, you know, maybe you're buying a house or you're looking at, at making uh, some sort of move somewhere along the way. And so perhaps you're kind of, you know, uh, just exploring your options, right? So making a decision of some sort. Okay, but that Two of Pentacles usually means you're juggling a lot of things and, you know, you're, you know, you're seeing the potential and the possibilities with things as well. Okay, and you're enjoying it. You're having fun. Okay, but again, um, you know, that Two of Pentacles energy standing on one foot and being a little bit off balance. Okay, again, it's uh, just a reminder that uh, you can't stay in that energy necessarily forever and remember to recharge your own uh, self. Okay. I remember that sometimes, you know, we do get a lot of benefits by spending some time alone or by letting something go, okay, canceling some plans or something there, okay, so the, the two of pentacles does show, I mean, it's a juggler, right, so, you know, it is having, uh, having fun while you're getting everything done, okay, but again, uh, sometimes that can be tiring as well. But we have the Six of Cups coming in here as advice from spirit. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy the moment. The Six of Cups is an energy of uh, uh, children, your inner child, okay? Or maybe you are spending some time with children and family, okay? Maybe there's some family obligations that you're fulfilling or maybe you're just, uh, for some of you, maybe you're taking some time off or you're focused on your family and children this time. But the Six of Cups can also be your inner child. And this is an energy of gentleness, of kindness, okay? And that strength card that comes in, yes, we can have courage and perseverance and a burst of self-confidence, okay? But we also do have that gentle, compassionate side as well. So you might need to... Number one, be practice a little bit of self-care, take care of yourself. But really the Six of Cups is a reminder from spirit to have fun, to enjoy life, enjoy the here and now, don't take any moment for granted, live in the present moment, live in the here and the now. Very important um, because the Six of Cups does also bring in an energy of nostalgia and also future planning. It's a little bit of an in between card. Okay, so you know, if you are thinking about things from the past, perhaps there's just some reminiscing going on here. Uh, if you, especially if you've got like a family gathering or something, a bar backyard barbecue, uh, maybe a family reunion. Okay, sometimes there is a little bit of reminiscing, a little bit of nostalgia uh, that comes up. And sometimes, of course, we have challenges that come up from the past. As well, okay, especially if there have been any family issues or anything like that. Sometimes they get resolved wonderfully and sometimes not so much. So there may be this reflective kind of energy here, but Spirit says, you know, uh, remember that you know, it's okay to think about the past and it's okay to, um, you know, maybe even assess the past or, you know, get up and get up caught up in a little bit of nostalgia, but we don't want to stay there. We want to remember to bring ourselves back to the present moment. Okay. If you're, uh, setting some intentions for manifestations, the two of pentacles, you're probably trying to figure out what it is that you want. How do I talk? How do I speak this? What do I, what do I say? What do I want to manifest? And the six of cups is a reminder from spirit here to remember to set your intentions in the here and now present 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 focused okay yes there's you know there your manifestations will come to fruition in the future but when you're speaking your intentions communication really is the key that page of swords manifest today 
today, today. Okay, where is that saying? Tomorrow never comes, right? So always manifest in the present moment, in today, and attach really positive vibes to your intentions. And it just gives it a little bit more firepower. You, you're a little bit more clear. And of course, you are, as soon as you do set intentions, right, things are already um, working behind the scenes for you. So always in the present moment, always in the here and now. Okay, your blessings headed your way. We've got the lover's card come in here. So this is beautiful energy. For one, this can be you getting in a balance and alignment and harmony with your higher self. Okay, your, you know, kind of uh, your vibration is very, very high. This is awesome energy for you to manifest because you're like right there. Okay, you're right there. You're very in tune, okay, with your needs, your wants, your desires, but especially your spiritual side and self as well. But the lover's card as far as blessings coming in there this week, okay, is one of balance and harmony. So that two of pentacles, if something's not quite in alignment, a little bit of a heads up from spirit, there is the opportunity here that you can present to yourself to get a little bit more balance in your life. So perhaps this page of swords lurking underneath the deck there, funny because actually the page of swords is the lurker of the tarot. So, you know, someone, uh, the internet may actually be, um, be part of your week in some way. Okay. Um, um, uh, electronic forms of communication okay but the lover's card can certainly be um all about partnerships okay partnerships yes balance and harmony but we do also have partnerships of a wonderful kind coming in here and this is somebody who you're partnering up with who is on the same wavelength as you now considering we do have um, family, security, stability, we've got children, we've got strength card, right? Strong, powerful, confident. Okay, we've got a lot going on here. Um, I think here with that lover's card that some someone out there, you're either um, you're either getting married or something yourself, perhaps you're making a decision to live with your person. Um, you may even have like a, a wedding or an anniversary, some sort of event, okay, that you may be attending or planning, okay, that involves a lot of people, whether you're just attending or whether you're actually involved in this, um, in this celebration, because it just feels as though um, for at least somebody out there that there is this energy where all of your dreams are starting to come true. And it's just a really positive week. You may not necessarily have the celebration this week, um, but you're certainly making plans for that. So, um, it, but it feels very important. Okay. So whether that's an anniversary, a wedding, an engagement party, okay, maybe you're living with somebody, whatever that happens to be, things are coming into alignment for you. And that is one hell of a blessing. It's a beautiful blessing for you. The lover's card is, you know, you may meet, meet somebody new, okay, or you might be part partnering up with somebody in business. Um, maybe you're partnering up with somebody um, elsewhere in your world, friends, family. But that lover's card really is about balance and partnerships in that uh, particular relationship, things coming together in a very positive way. Okay. So whether it's new or improved okay, in your world, it's a very positive energy. However, the six of, uh, the six, uh, sorry, the six of lovers, the lovers card, excuse me. Okay. Uh, can also represent choices. So again, you may have an, a very important choice to make. Perhaps you're faced with a decision that two of pentacles there, what are you going to decide? Okay. Listen to your heart and your soul and take your time to make the right decision for you. Don't let anyone pressure you into making a decision that you're not ready to make or that you don't want to make yet. Okay. Go within that Six of Cups can certainly be that energy of, um, you know, having a look at your past saying, well, you know, where have I been headed? Uh, what have I been doing? Is this still in alignment with who I am and what I want for the future? Okay. And then I think you'll make the right decision for yourself. Okay. So matters of the heart and the soul may certainly be uh, prevalent for you in the week ahead. Let's see what else we've got here for you. We do have open up to change. We've got new moon energy and this is Aquarian energy coming in. Very funny because the page of swords is quite often associated with Aquarius. Okay. And we do have some Uranus. Uh, no, actually we don't have Uranus energy. I lied. Um, I'm like, wait, hold on a second. No, we don't. 
Um, but the Page of Swords does uh, quite often represent Aquarian energy, and we've got that here. It's all about innovation, trying new things, doing something a different way, thinking outside the box. Also very futuristic energy as well. So there may be something here that is coming into alignment for you, Okay, and you may need to have a step back and look at the big picture, look at the potential, look at where the something may lead you in the future. Okay, but it, you may have to change your habits, change your style. Okay, you may need to implement some sort of changes, do something just a little bit differently. This can be the, as well that there is changes on the horizon for you. And with the new moon energy, okay, this is really spirit, spirit reminding you that there we do have a new moon this week, okay, and it's a great time to make some change, to, you know, even let something go, to try new things, get out of your comfort zone, okay, and to be maybe a little bit innovative, okay, so that uh, moon energy can be really quite powerful and very pleasant for you, I think, um, in this week ahead. We also have your energy here, Pisces. Forgive, full moon energy, what do you need to let go of? Okay, something from the past may come up to haunt you a little bit in the week ahead. That six of cups energy can certainly be a return card. So it can just be some energy, some memories, maybe even something with something within your family structure may come up, maybe something to do with siblings, okay? I mean, as much as we love our siblings, we don't always get along, right? And, uh, you know, so sometimes we do get along a lot better when everyone moves out of the house onto their own. But whatever is there for you here, Spirit's really trying to open you up, right? Because we do have forgive where we release, we let go, we quite often... Um, do release any kind of blocks, okay, anything negative or challenging, okay, we're letting it go with love, with peace, with gratitude, and then this has us open to receive something new, so what do you need to release to receive something new? Fears, worries, doubts, is there something that you have done that you want to do differently, is there something that someone else has done that you need to let go of? Wipe the slate clean, Okay, with that energy and be open to change. Okay, now it can also be, I don't know why I do not have a card here for an apology. Okay, but I think here that at least for somebody, there may be some sort of olive branch that may be extended to you. Okay, I mean, we do have forgive, but um, this is really all about you. When we forgive, by the way, we forgive um, ourselves and other people. We're really not condoning anything that has ever happened. What we're actually doing is giving ourselves permission to let something go so that the energy no longer affects us going forward. We'll have the memories, we'll have the experience, but not that energy anymore. Okay, so that's really what that forgiveness really is. Okay, but, um, you know, but I think here that there may be something here that has to do with a family issue. Okay, and, you know, possibly between siblings. And this may be either you are extending an olive branch to somebody. Okay, or they may actually be extending one to you. Okay, so, um, so very important energy. All right, in that regard. Okay, but remember, let go, okay, let go so that you can make room for something new coming in. I'm going to leave that there for you, Pisces. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If so, please hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.